Hello, Internet! I'm Mr. Bomb, and you are back for some more Monster Hunter Generations! Woo! Let's keep hunting! We gotta hunt some stuff! And we have some actual monsters to hunt this time. We're not just gathering stuff like, you know, what Monster Hunter always makes you do in the beginning of the game. So, um, I'm gonna store what we got from the end of the last episode really quick, and we're gonna prepare ourselves, and we're going for an actual hunt. And, yep, that looks good, I'm prepared. Though I really could start making some actual item sets and being smart about this, I'm waiting till the game actually presses a challenge where I feel like I actually need to start doing that. Like, right now, the quests aren't tough. You know, like, I can take down 10 joggies and I'll feel safe about that. You know, like, oh well. But who knows what this is going to unlock. Because right now, that's the only quest we can do. I am not gonna eat. I'm gonna take that gamble. It said ten joggy. There was no sub quest. Um, now I know I've been talking about the capture cards, so we can see the bottom screen. And between these episodes, while I was filming, um, we got an awesome. Oh, it's nighttime! Oh, look! Oh, it's so cool! Look at this! I even got like a. A sun flare, on, or a moon flare, I don't know, what kind of a anti-vampire flare. Oh, it's so, oh my gosh, look at this. I'm not even going to you know, finish my thought. Oh, that's what that, uh, that huge thing back here is for, for looking at that big star right there, that big one in the middle, you know what I mean? But anyway, capture card news. Yes, between episodes, and it's been a really long time, um, I really should have been going to sleep, because, uh, as I said in that capture card video, which was now, obviously, a while ago for you guys, because I, I put it up instantly as soon as I got it. Um, we reached our, uh, no, our goal for the capture card. And I'm super excited, and I said at that point, you know, that episode that I just finished is probably going to be the last one that I ever filmed my old-style way with the camera right here, and... Oh, wow, he got pissed at me quick. But anyway, um, I decided against it. Oh, there's something smoking out there, too. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool, it's nighttime! But anyway, um... Uh, we don't have any stuff to gather and mine and stuff. We're just gonna hunt today. If I'm gonna gather, I'll do it offline. I don't see any joggies yet, but anyway. I wanted to get a little bit farther in this game. Mainly, I think we should beat the first couple large monsters. That way, when I do have the capture card, because I have ordered it today, it will be coming in soon. I have no idea when it will come in, unfortunately. They didn't give me any estimated delivery date, which stinks. But, um, when, uh... Joggy's in here? No, there's, there's cats. I'm gonna go... Actually, let's try Area 6. So, um... Oh, that looks like some cool stuff, though. Bone husks. Oh, no, 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 no! <gasps> okay, I'll take what I can get. Fossilized bone. Was that how... Wait a minute. Oh, was that why I couldn't get that mining thing earlier? Oh, in the last episode it was a bone? I thought I was going for... Oh, fossilized bones you used to mine, I thought. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, so I think we should go for a few large monsters before um, we actually start using the capture card. That way, the instant we get the capture card... We'll be able to uh, start streaming with you guys as tests, basically, for it. And uh, we're going to do some events where I'm going to tell you guys when I'm live. And I'll just let uh, random subscribers, you know, I'll tell you when what my number of the hall is. And you guys can start joining we can hunt together. It'll be awesome. Whoop. Boop. Wow, he just took that. He just took all of that. And we upgraded this thing. And I don't know why they're okay. Okay, but there we go. N not quite, but I'll take the parts we can get. Cats should take him out. You got one carb or two, you got one. Alright, that's, that's good, I'm fine with that. So you know what? There might be something really cool that shows up after this quest. I'm really excited. I think we're finally getting our first large monster. I'm really excited about that, because one, like I just said, I really want to find who it is. I want to fight him so bad. I got this awesome new long sword. I want to fight him with it. Why I sound like this, I don't know, but I'm sorry. Um, we're going that way. It's kind of hard to see on that bottom screen where that map really is, though it's quite large. I didn't want it, you know, blocking your guys' view. So, now another thought. 
with the capture card, I'm wondering how should I actually organize the... Oh, there you go. How should I actually organize the uh, screen layout? I mean, nobody really shows their bottom screen in Monster Hunter Online as far as I've seen. But I feel like we might need to in certain occasions, which could really prove to be difficult to edit if I gotta keep switching. You know what I mean? Or, um... Ah, I don't need to attack again. Nice! Nice cats over there! Um, but yeah, so... I'm not really sure how I'm gonna, uh, pull that off, what I'm really gonna do. Are you guys, like, content with me just reading what monsters it says it is in the bottom? I mean, it's a real bummer that Monster Hunter took that off the top screen. They're relying so much on the bottom screen in this one, and all to it for the game. I mean, it doesn't matter, really, for the player who is just genuinely playing this game for themselves. Sure, it might look better for them, but for me, who's just using the top screen. What? We oh, can go through this? Oh, wow! I don't know why I'm impressed by that. I don't know why I'm impressed by that. Oh, that's gonna shield monsters off. That's cool. I'm so helping. There, I did something. So, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna try out, um, Longsword Adept as my main, and I know I'm not doing well against Joggies, but honestly, just hunting little monsters is kind of difficult almost with anything. But, uh, seriously though, I'm, I'm really excited to try out against large monsters, because if you saw me doing it in the demo, oh, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. I love it. I love it so much. Um, and Adept on almost anything is really a ton of fun. So, um, we can now move to a new area, which is this direction, which now I know that's not a collider wall, okay. You can just run through that thing. Kinda wish it was animated. I don't know why. Oh, once again, I found out, um, you can mine this thing, which... Don't have anything to mine it yet. Um, I'm gonna figure that out sometime later, obviously, because... I'm gonna do, like, the harvest tours and stuff that we saw, um, in the guild area. I'm gonna do this later. Do we not have harvest tours by ourselves? I mean, I guess there's no point. I never thought of it like that. But, yeah, I, I guess there is no point. So, oh, uh, okay. I, like, never got touched. <laughs> Come on, I want to get my butt kicked in this game. Like, right off the bat. You know, it reminds me of something else I wanted to say. Um, I don't want to complain about this game at all, by the way. At all. This is just an observation. The intro to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate was fantastic. How it... One, the story was so well developed, and I know this is not a full-fledged Monster Hunter game. This is like a celebration of uh, Monster Hunter Anniversary. It's not really another um, installment of the franchise. But still, um, the beginning of Monster Hunter 4 was so unbelievable with the Darren Moran. I don't know. I, I had really high hopes for the beginning, exciting uh, start of this game, and it really just kind of put you in the room, and you started walking around talking to people, and um, I hope you guys weren't bored by that. I mean, I wasn't, but I mean, just in comparison, in hindsight, it was kind of a lot cooler when, oh, alright, a lot of work, let me carve that guy real quick so we can get a part out of him, hopefully his friend doesn't bother us, but yeah, I, I don't know what you guys think about that, I mean, like I said, this isn't truly another edition of the franchise, but it's it's so big and so much fun already that I kind of count it, you know? So, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, then. Am I dead? Yes. Another one. Alright, cool. Got another uh, joggy part. They're fighting a third of... Whoa, that one's big. That Panabra is huge. Oh my gosh, look at that. Come on, can we knock it down? Oh my god! Yikes! I was hoping to maybe get another part, but oh well, I guess we killed some more of those things. Oh, Juggy, 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 I have no idea when the music ends, uh, because it's totally different now. So I'm just kind of running around and gathering stuff as much as I can uh, during the last few seconds, because every item adds up in Monster Hunter. It really does. You feel like, in the beginning, you're just kind of gathering meticulously, and you're not really getting anywhere, and feel like the game's gonna become a grind fest. And in some ways it does, but I feel like if you play it very smart, it won't. And you just gotta be smart about how you're getting items, and where you get them from, and how you use them in particular. 
So we got some more Jaggy stuff, hide, uh, Jaggy scale, scale, uh, another hide, and then it was like a bird wagon fang. I'm sorry, I'm not going fast enough. Um, blue mushroom, bitter bug, heavy jelly, blue mushroom, and an herb. It's done. We got a speed jelly and a banabra wing. Nice! Bone small, antidote herb, iron ore, needle berry, Jaggy scale, and monster fluid. We're getting so many of those parts, it's awesome. Oh yeah, th that is that fossilized bone. Man, I feel stupid that I was going in the wrong place to the fossilized bones. But, you know, whatever, I mean, I guess, um, in that mining episode, at the very least, I did get, um, a lot of, uh, iron ores and stuff out of it. That's really good. I'm thinking about building another armor set of, like, one of these opening ones, just because I want to build stuff. I really want to build stuff, like, quickly, which is another reason why I want to bust through these episodes for you guys. Um, that's probably the cat lady over here. Um, but... By that, I mean it's on the bottom screen. I, it alerts me when someone wants to talk. But, uh. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Anyway, yeah, um. Another reason I want to progress farther in the game with you guys before the capture card comes in is because I really want to build an armor set. I want to build stuff! Love this game so much, I just want to keep playing it. Oh, Hunter, terrific! You're back safe and sound, and you pounded those jockey right into the ground. Actually, I sliced them apart. Surely you're coming to, uh. Bana Berna. Berna. Man, that always gets me. It was fateful. You saved the poor felines, and we're all oh so grateful. As thanks, I do hope you'll take a reward. A few things I thought I'd like to accord. First is a treat. A sweet batch of honey. And why academy points? Put your sort of like money. You can spend them on things that the beast or a trader. And you if you ever run out, um just get some more later. Thanks again, Hunter. We're deep in your debt. I'm sure that I'll see you more of you yet. Received honey. Well, that's swell and all. Um, so that's interesting. She she kind of had like a mini quest for us. I guess um, that was supposed to be like a little bit of a learning curve. Is showing how um, quests given by particular people are now handled a little differently. Where you actually go to that person constantly to communicate with them. Oh, ah, yeah, it's you! Ah, the chief. Ah, Hunter, your timing could not be any better. The chief researcher has just informed me of a bit of a dilemma out on the Jurassic frontier. A bird wyvern called a GREAT MACAO! Yes! 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 Large monsters! Is impeding the Y Academy survey team's research there. It is vital that his research continue unobstructed. I have posted an urgent quest for you to hunt this monster. Be careful. The Great Macau is known to lead packs of smaller Macau, and can easily overwhelm you with their numbers. Prepare yourself. Uh, well, before you depart, Hunter, you can find the urgent quest in the quest counter. Good luck. Oh, yes, 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 ma- um, let's talk to him first, because he's got yellow. Hello, Mr. Man, Mr. Guy. Uh, there you are, deputy. Is, is that my name? Yeah, you're my favorite deputy. I have some new reports for you to review. There, I've added the data to the monster list in your Hunter's Notes in the start menu. I trust you've been making extensive observational notes yourself. I have new reports of you soon. I haven't looked at it at all. I assume I know what's going on. New info was added. Uh, Alright, well, it's nice that it's free now. So, uh, Quest Lady. Oh, hi, Hunter person. Wow, it's like the Chief's got an urgent quest for you. Let me go over how this works. After completing specific quests for the guild, an urgent quest will pop up. Once you complete it, you'll be able to take on higher tier of quests. Think of it as proving yourself, as a, or proving your skill as a hunter. Before you get aspirations of greatness, you've got to take care of a great Macau. Be careful, they look all cute and feathery from a distance, but up close, they are giant murder birds. Giant murder birds! I want to go fight the giant murder birds with claws that'll rip your face right off. Oh! Lovely! I'm cool with that, though, because I want my face ripped off. That's what I asked for in the beginning of this episode. Try to come back with your face, okay? We need it for our campaign. Anyway, here's all the questing action lined up for today. And level one now has a red check mark on it, which I assume that means completely done. Um, training, that's... <laughs> Man, you could spend an eternity trying to actually finish training and get a check mark there. Oh, I'm gonna have to do that, aren't I? To get my 100% completion, like I was saying before. Even though Monster Hunter never really rewards you for 100% completion, which is honestly really disappointing, but whatever. Oh my gosh, here it is. The Vaulting Outlaw. Hunt a great Macau, and the subquest, slay five Macau. That's a pretty cool quest, actually. 
Oh, I'm so excited about that. Uh, it's a quest level 2, which means it's going to put us up to Hunter Rank 2. Um, we've had a request... Actually, no, I don't think it does. I don't know if it does, because I, I remember in the last game, if you go to the guild, you still are Hunter Rank 1. For online purposes, you're Hunter Rank 1. So, I'm not going to read the summary and stuff, because obviously you guys can't see it, but we got to run back and we got to prepare. we got to figure out what we're doing here. So, we're taking inventory. Like I said, we got to be smart with our items here. Um, I don't know if we want to switch cats either. Let's see what we got first. I got 10. Oh, man, that was nice of her. Thank you very much, girl lady lady. Put all these back in. That's all we got. All right, cool. So, um, this armor set is actually quite nice. I think I'm going to hang on to wearing it for now. I'm kind of curious what upgrading armor is like. Or if we can actually upgrade this sword again. Because, um... Like I was saying, I think it's going to be much better against um, large monsters than smalls. Tell you what, skipping material gathering is the foundation of hunting. Now go out there and get some. Oh, all right, well. Thanks for being short and sweet about that. I really appreciate it. What's with the symbols on your arms and your skin is white? Are you Kratos? Ah, I have Kratos' help. Uh, wait. Forge armor. What can I make, like, right now out of Kyrgios? Wow! There seriously is an armor set for that thing. Wow! And it looks ridiculous on the bottom screen. It's like one of those necks, like the those Apatosaurus dinosaur guys. Oh my gosh, that is silly. What does it do? Um, no skill, psychic solely. Wow. Well, I guess that makes up for it being such a stupid, silly looking. Oh my gosh, a great Macau. High. Wow. Okay, I don't even have that stuff. So uh, just out of curiosity, I'll see what skills we can get here. Ammo, si nah. Okay, sharpness. What? Okay, that? Yeah, you get razor sharp, like, in the beginning of the game? Are you kidding me? Well, Banabra stuff is always hard to get, so that's that could very well be possible. Um, Joggy stuff, dang, could give us attack up. Really, really nice. Um, I've heard somewhere people are talking that uh, Gaijin Hunter has come out with some low rank armor set you can build right in the beginning of the game that gives you attack up large. Well,. For everyone out there who's already recommending me to build certain things in certain orders, I am doing this in my own way. I want to combine and find my own combinations. Like, in the NF4 Ultimate, my favorite armor set was the mixed one I came up with myself. No one had talked about it online. That's why it was my favorite. It wasn't that it was the best. It was, in my opinion, the best because I made it. It was special to me. I was excited because I enjoy making stuff and finding new ways to take these skills and craft really cool armor sets out of them. So, I don't know. There's that. I hope you guys do too. I mean, don't let the internet take the fun out of the game for you. That's really what I was trying to say there. Um, Protection 3. That has to, Yeah, we're wearing that thing. That is... That's pretty good. That's a really good defensive one for early on. Yeah, the leather one could have given us whim. And I'm guessing Chainmail is just straight up for defense? Maybe it's for slots. I'm not sure why you would do that, because it gave you no skills. I'm not sure, but, um, anyway, that's all we really could see in terms of making new stuff. Uh, weapons, um... Okay, the, oh, there is a bone path. This is not the replacement. Uh, the bones are actually stronger. Huh. Okay, so, uh, out of curiosity, if I'm gonna upgrade equipment, I'll see what this guy goes again. Um, yeah, we're gonna need shiny beetles, and then six ores. A uh, total of six ore. Man, that's interesting! That is so smart! That is a good fix of how to get around, um, troublesome... What's the word here? Uh, item farming. Where, I remember in the other Monster Hunter games, I'm sure you guys do too, going back and spamming certain monsters, trying to get that one part that should be common, but for some reason you're just not getting it. This is a great way around that. Everyone kind of levels up at the same speed. Awesome! That is brilliant. This is brilliant. I love that idea. Though you still need specific items, like that shiny beetle there. Um. Oh. No, this, it, it splits. It splits at certain paths. Oh, oh, I see here. Okay, look. Um. This is our option to level it up. Right now it is level three, two. It will be level three if we did that. So if we made it level three, uh, we would still have the opportunity to turn into the Ivory Rabbit, which I guess, uh, Legombi's in this. And Blangos? Oh, it's from the second game, that's awesome. Um, Petrified Saber, if we turn that into level four, though, we could see what this is. Five, we could see these two. I got a feeling we should just be leveling up, 
to try and see what those new things are. I don't know where to find a shiny beetle yet. And also out of curiosity, what happened? Oh, armor spheres. Well, I guess that makes sense. But, uh, wow, yeah. Nice. Two points of defense for each one I gave it to. Haven't seen a single one of those yet. Haven't seen a single one. Decorations. You know, um, out of curiosity, I thought I was like a few points off of getting something. Was it Maestro? Maestro's not helpful. Never mind. So, um, if that's the case, I... Eh? If that's the case, I think we should get all prepped up and set up for an awesome, urgent quest in the next episode! I'm so excited for that! Alright, um, yeah, we need to start taking our items out. Let's not be stingy anymore. We need these things. Now, we've gone through this whole part of the game without even combining any potions at all. And, uh, heh, I mainly did that. Oh, you know what? Just because I already know we need it, let's go buy that book of combos. Um, are you the shop person? Flight attendant. Oh yeah, the person who's gonna fly us places. Uh, that's weird. Um, are, do I buy from you? No, you're the armory. There you are. Shop, no, that's another armory. Oh, that was the cat armory. Uh, you're the chef, uh... Do you... Where, where do I buy stuff? How do I buy... Oh, is it here? Oh, I ran everywhere else other than you. Bear in a market, I'm sorry, darling, I didn't see you. Wait, no, that's the cat, never mind. Oh, hello, you must be the new easy money... Er, I mean, the new hunter in town. Oh. 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 Oh, I, I see. Oh, oh, look, be right back. Let me see. Um, you must be the real easy woman in town. Oh, I mean, the, uh, the new, uh, shopkeeper. Oh, uh, the chief told us all about you. Welcome to the Baronet Market, from daily necessities to hunting gear. We've got it all in and then some. Well, all that we can manage to get delivered out here in the Highlands, at least. So, I guess this place, like, there's gonna be at least a little bit of story going on. It sounds like this place really needs money and they're trying to campaign to get more tourists out here. And, uh, to do that, somehow hunting for them and researching is gonna make them money. But, I don't know. Th I I'm guessing that's all the story that's going on right now. I'm just trying to piece it together, if there is any at all. Uh, but either way, I'm just having fun with the game. But I promise, we'll do that all we can here to meet your needs, so don't you or your wallet be strangers. Yeah, of course. You have to buy something. Set up? Uh, yeah, 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 okay, well, first of all... Oh! You know, she is different. I don't know who I bought my stuff from before. Must have been that other guy in the, uh, other area. Yeah, that guy. So, I'm gonna buy the Book of Combos too. now that we got a little more cash. Send it over here, because apparently my guy is the biggest idiot in the freaking world and can't combine anything worth crap. So because of that, we're gonna do this with a Book of Combos 1 and 2. Um, combo list, let's make some potions here. Let's not use all our blue mushrooms, I'm just gonna make a couple more. Uh, combo list, how many of these we have? Oh my god, that's, they're so nice. Uh, let's throw this one out there, get a life crystal, or nutrients, I'm sorry. And then we're gonna get mega nutrients with this. Bap. Yes, got it, okay, sweet. Now, um, Mega Nutrients goes into, um, Dragon Toadstool. We do not have one of those yet, and I believe that is gonna make a Max Potion. I think so. What do we got here? Bitterbug Honey. Uh, sure, we got them. Throw it in there. Catalyst. Sweet. Um, nothing else is popping up at the moment. Stone and a sap plant. Well, we can make a bomb casing, right? Yep, and that gives us the opportunity to make... Was that a... What is that? I'm not sure. That's a poison smoke bomb. That is a flash bomb. What? Is it... Deodorant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like, I'm not familiar with that one. I guess I, I never really combined too much to make uh, deodorants. Oh, not worth it. Nope, my stuff breaks way too often. Whetstone, monster bun, small. What the heck does that make? Right. Oh, that's a boomerang. Yeah, we don't need that. That's a waste. Alright, so, um... Those are pretty good, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some items out, sort them again. I'm gonna take 10 potions, 10 mega potions, I doubt we'll use that, but I am having them. I'm trying to set up an item set right now, so we'll be prepped. Um, let's not use those. That stays. Don't need those. Nope. Nope. Oh, there's only one, anyway. I have 30 life powders! Huh! They're so nice. Oh my gosh. They're so nice! So much stuff. Um... No. Paintballs, yes, you never know. Could lose it. Um... We're not gonna try and trap it, no. Uh, that would be a little bit on the silly willy side. 
I am going to bring some honey, though, just so I can combine on the fly if i got to make some more potions, even though my guy, obviously, as seen in the past, doesn't understand how to put mud and mud together to get more mud. So, I don't know if I trust him with that. There's, um... Nothing else I think we should be taking, and if that's the case, we are set for the next episode. And we're taking down our urgent quest, the Great Macau. Yes! I'm so excited for that! I'm so excited for that! It's like, I don't even want to end the episode for some reason, because I'm like, guys, guys, we're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it! Guys, even though, you know, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't know, because I, we're gonna be doing it next time. I, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I'm sorry for stalling. I'm just too excited. This game is just so much fun already, and it's about to get really hectic in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Monster Hunter Generations. Oh, yeah.